Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is about dicentric chromosome assay, also called DCA. DCA is a well-established biodosimetry test used to estimate exposure to ionizing radiations. Before we talk about the DC assay, we need to know what is a dicentric chromosome. When ionizing radiations specifically the gamma radiation passes through the body cells. It interacts with the various organelles including the nucleus in the cell. Chromosomes are present in the nucleus of the cell. The interaction of radiation with these chromosomes causes break in these chromosomes. Generally, the broken pieces of the individual chromosome join back and revert to the original position. In the event of higher exposure to radiation, such breaks may occur in more than one chromosome. During such period, there is a chance for misrepair when the broken end of one chromosome may join with a broken end of another, resulting in formation of a dicentric chromosome. So, a DC is one that contains two centromeres instead of one normally present in one chromosome. The formation of DC is highly specific to ionizing radiation and its frequency serves as a measure of radiation exposure received by a person. Procedure Around 5 ml blood sample is obtained from a person exposed to radiation and immediately after collection placed into fridge at temperature from 4 degree centigrade to 8 degree centigrade. 0.8 ml of blood from this blood sample is transferred to a cultivation tube having 7.5 ml of suitable medium consisting of mentioned chemicals. The mixture is then gently mixed in hand and placed into incubator at 37 degrees centigrade for 48 hours. Actually, the PHA in the medium will stimulate lymphocytes. This will initiate cell cycle. At 48th hour, 200 microliter of calcimate solution having stroke concentration of 10 microgram per ml is added to the culture, gently mixed in hand and the incubation continued for next 2 hour, that is, up to 50th hour. Cells will be arrested when they reach metaphase stage by colcimate. This is done because the metaphase chromosomes are seen clearly under the microscope as at this stage, the chromosomes are in a highly condensed state. At 50th hour, the cultures are harvested by centrifugation and treated with 10 ml of pre-warmed hypotonic KCL solution and then fixed in fixation solution. There was gentle mixing using pipette, centrifugation and removal of every solution above the pellet by pipette between every step. The fixation was performed in room temperature. After fixation, the cells were dropped onto chilled humid slides and left to dry overnight in room temperature. Slides were stained with 5% Jamsa for 5 minutes next day. The slides were analyzed on microscope. This was all. Thanks for watching.